So in the series of learning C programming, we have covered I guess all the concept in C language. If you are left with any concept, you can write down that thing in comment box. I'll make a separate video on that thing. But we are left with a small concept that is enum in C. Enum is a user defined data type. So this video will talk about this thing. As we have structure and union, same way we have enum to define our own data type. So how to use enum to define our own data type? How to declare a variable of enum type? How to use this in our program? What are some important points about enum? Why we use enum? What is need of enum? Right? How this is different from you know macros and how this is different from uh, structure and union? All the things we will discuss about enum with the help of a program in this video. Right? But before that, just want to tell you one thing. This summer, Geeks for Geeks is going to bring back fun to your screens with the biggest virtual event in 2022, presenting Geeks Summer Carnival. So here you will experience fun, excitement, entertainment and games. And it is going to be started from 26th of March to 11th of April. So all these days are filled with fun and some of the hottest discount to cool you down this summer. Flat 15% off and much more. So what are you waiting for? Get ready for these days of excitement and mark your calendars. The Geek Summer Carnival is all about enhancing your skills and you should never miss out an opportunity like this. If you want to explore more, if, if you want more information on this, the link I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go to that link, click that link and you can check out the further detail about this, about this event. So do check out that link and register now. So now what is enum? Let's discuss. So it is a user defined data type. Basically used for what? To assign to assign names to integral constant. We basically use this thing, this data type to assign some names to integral constant. Like see, let's take one example. I guess you have, most of you have used this thing macros like hash define and max 50. This thing. Like when we use in a program, in a program we can use now max. Right? And this max means 50. This would be replaced with 50. Means we are using actually the name rather than this integral, this is integral constant, but we are assigning a name to this integral constant and the name is max and this name we can use throughout our program. I guess you are aware with this macros. So this thing macro can also do this thing. Same thing enum will do, but what is the difference? Why we use enum over macros? Sometimes we use macros, sometimes it's better to use enum. That also we'll discuss, right? But the meaning of this line is user def it, it is basically used to assign names to integral constant. This is the thing. This is integral constant. We are assigning a name to it and we are using this name to your program. And see when we use names in a program, definitely it is going to increase the readability of the program. See, let's see in my uh, in a class, if I say like roll number 45, stand up. And roll number 45, name of, uh, sorry, roll number 45, name is uh, Rahul. If I say roll number 45 stand up, another if I say Rahul stand up, which one is better? Rahul obviously because if I say roll number 45 then maybe some point of time you know for some time Rahul whose roll number is 45 even Rahul will think who is 45 right and if I directly say name Rahul then Rahul will stand up. So which is better to call a student by their name rather than roll number? You are agree with me? Yes. Same thing if we use name in a program rather than numbers then it will increase the readability of the program. It is easy to maintain that program. If you have written a program and some other is reading your program, if you have used names in that program rather than numbers, so for that person also it is easy to read, it, it is easy to understand your program. So it's not compulsory without enum also you can write down your program, it's not compulsory to use enum in your program. Right? But if you, if you use enum sometimes then it will definitely increase the readability of the program, the maintainability of the program. Right? And if you want to modify something that also would be easy if you are using enums. Right? So see, how we can define, see if you use a structure then how we use, how we define, we use struct then name like uh, I am using student then here list of members like int, roll number, float marks, this, 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 right and semicolon and then we can uh, declare a variable of this type, first we use struct, then student, 
then like suppose s is roll number right so s is a variable of data type struct student same enum how we declare enum the keyword here the name of enum suppose i'm i'm here writing um, days week days name right and here after curly braces the list of days suppose i'm using sunday monday tuesday like this that's it suppose three names only i'm taking and semicolon so this is how you define your own data type with enum right now le let me write this thing in a proper way like this we can write enum the name is weekdays and i am here i am listing the values here you can say so the meaning of this thing is how you can declare the variable of this we have defined our own data type but the only possible values when we declare a variable of this data type the only possible values that variable can have is this one this list only these seven values like we suppose of int data type i am declaring a variable a so the possible values a can have is all the integers right 0 1 2 minus any all the integers character if i am taking char c all the characters c can take the possible values for this variable so if we declare a variable of this type how to declare same we use enum this keyword then the name of this data type weekdays and the name of the variable the name of variable i am taking is suppose today so this variable this variable can have the values from this list only these are the possibilities the possible values i can assign something like this today is equal to tuesday that's fine if i am taking a today one another variable so i can write today one is equal to sunday these variables can have values from these seven values either sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday that's it no other values is allowed suppose i have written down this thing only friday in this list i have the values till friday so if you write here tuesday is equal to saturday that would not be allowed this will give error you cannot write down at this thing because this is not in your program anywhere this type of variable cannot have value saturday it can have value sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday that's it so if you want this kind of program like like your variable can have only a set of values at that point of time you can use enum like weekdays only seven day possibilities are there month only 12 possibilities are there directions only four possibilities east west north south either one value this variable can have the variable you declare of that type and at one time this variable can have, can have only single value like sunday only single value at one time out of these possible values right so if this situation arise list of values specific set of values you want your variable can have right should have that time you can use enum data type user defined data type right i guess you know how to define this data type how to declare a variable of this thing right like this and i have assigned a value also like today is equal to sunday and now second thing is what automatically compiler will will initialize this this thing with integers constant uh, starting from zero zero it would be assigned zero value then one two three four five automatically by compiler so if you print the value of today like if i am printing printf percentage d and i am printing today this value so it will print in today i have sunday so it will print a zero by default if rather than sunday i have tuesday so it will print two this is automatically initialization by compiler but if you assign your own value also if i want that sunday should be given sunday is equal to one sunday should start with one that is also fine you can do this thing sunday is equal to one comma so now next values the next values would be assigned by previous value plus one automatically by compiler so previous value is one then monday would be two three four five six right 
but if you assign the numbers in any order that is also fine if i am writing here like sunday is equal to 1 and monday suppose i i want to initialize monday with 5 comma that is also fine now automatically tuesday would be assigned with what previous value plus 1 so tuesday would be 6 so now at this point of time tuesday if you print this thing then it will give you 6 i hope now you are getting in any order you can assign the values in any order like here we have Monday we can assign 0 also that is also fine so now in this case Tuesday would be have value 0 plus 1 that is 1 so now it will print 1 here Sunday is also 1 Tuesday is also 1 that is also fine so in this case now 1 2 3 4 right so the next value would be previous value plus 1 fine you can assign values you can assign these things the numbers according to yourself according to your requirement right so now why we use this thing over macros macro also can do same thing assign name to integral constant so one difference is what the scope macros are having global scope only only global scope because macros are like hash define this thing this is these are in pre-processing these are like pre-processor right so it comes under pre-processing phase so whatever these are you know the line which are uh, you know prefixed with hash those would come in pre-processor phase so whenever you use in a program max 50 wherever you you have you have used max that would be replaced with 50 so this is having global scope not local scope no allowed no local scope is allowed in macros even you use this line within any function then also it would be considered as a lo global scope not local to that function you can use this you can try it at your own right but here this this you know, this data type can have local as well as global scope it's up to you within a function like i'm using void fun one and in in this function i am listing my own values i'm defining my own data type so that data type this type of variable in a type of variable you can use within the scope of this function only not outside of this function so this is having local scope as well as global scope also you can declare globally also you can declare right next thing automatically compiler can assign values to these if you don't assign anything automatically compiler will do from 0 1 2 3 like this but when you use macros you have to explicitly give the value like hash define max 50 if you don't use max and anything it would not be considered as right so you have to explicitly give the value right next thing at one point of time we can take list of values here but here we cannot take hash define we can take only one value like max 50 another value if you want to take right so another macro you have to use and here we have list of values in within a single line only right so these are some you can say plus point of using enum over macros next uh, point about enum is what within the same scope right within the same scope i'm using like here i haven't used saturday so i'm using here saturday comma again i'm using sunday so this is not allowed sunday here also sunday here also sunday is equal to suppose here one sunday is equal to here five so this is not allowed within the same scope scope is same right either in main i'm using these two enum enum or in any function within the same scope the duplicate values are not allowed of the these enum saturday is fine only saturday because here we, we are not having saturday saturday is fine right but if this enum i'm using another function if this enum i'm using in function 2 so in that case i'm use here, i can use here sunday in that case duplicate these values are allowed but in same scope not allowed i hope you are getting my point another point is only integral values are allowed here if suppose I am taking here another enum, enum and point x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2.5. This is not allowed. Only integral constant are allowed. No floating or anything is allowed. Only integers. Right? So I think this is clear to you. Now, if I use here x0, y0, that is also fine. These can have same values. Right? That is also fine. Means same uh, integral constant right so this is fine 0 this is also having 0 value right 
next point is we oh no why do we need enum basically when we want that our variable should have only a set of possible values then we can use enum here set of possible values are only weekdays 7 7 right next thing in switch case also we can use enum like how can you use uh, you can use this in switch case when we are using case in case we are using integers or either characters character can use or you can use character or integers but if you use enum then you can use here case like i can write here sunday case monday case tuesday and here you can simply print today is sunday today is monday today is tuesday so here in case here i can use these words when we are, we are using enums so this is i guess more readable rather than using case 0 case 1 case 2 right maybe we have specified like 0 is for sunday 1 is for monday but we have to go through the program properly like 0 okay at somewhere we have written 0 is for sunday so like 0 means okay sunday but if we directly write here sunday monday so it is more understandable like case this is for sunday so it will print sunday tuesday uh, sorry monday tuesday like this right so in switch case also you can use enum so this is assignment for you you have to write down a program in which you are using switch case and you are using enum also so you have to write down that program yourself and be honest right see one example we can take like this suppose i have a condition like if uh, if your employee is female then or whenever we are going to you know we are going for some shopping and there we have some condition like if customer is female then she will get 50% discount if male then only 25% discount and others will get suppose 60% discount right so in, if we are using enum then in if directly we can use if customer is equal to is equal to female then discount is 50% if customer is equal to is equal to male this thing when we use enum only then on, then only we can write down this thing and it is more understandable right rather than writing something 0 1 or this thing fine so at some point of time like here also our uh, our variable can have only specific set of values like either female male or others three set of values we have only so we can use enum right in direction like like i have told you in directions four directions only four uh, specific values four uh, possible set of values are there so there you can use enum right like how you can declare enum gender and here i can write male female others right and i can then uh, what you can declare a variable of this type enum gender but you have to write down enum keyword also then the name and then i can declare a variable of this variable you can take a b c x y z or anything right g so g i am assigning a value like male so the, what condition would be satisfied that thing if g is equal to is equal to male then the discount is 25% so it would be true now right so because of this enum it is possible to use here male otherwise it's not possible right and it is obviously increasing the understandability of the program fine and this g at a time this variable can have only one value out of these possible values at a time it can have only one value fine and by default zero is what sorry male is what zero then one and two it would be considered as zero automatically by compiler fine so i guess about enum all the points we have covered i guess you can write down your a program a simple program with enum at your own right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care